Hello lightning strikes. I know you guys have been watching my videos. I just posted a little get ready with me, but I just could not stop um, the vi like the flow of teachings through me. I love you guys' comments. You guys have been calling me beautiful. Like, stop. You're spoiling me. Keep spoiling me. And then I'm going to keep spoiling you guys. Like, genuinely okay because you guys are making me feel like make some more free content for you guys because i I've, when you guys give me energy like i build energy right that's the essence of public platforms right so today i wanted to talk about something that i don't know maybe you guys haven't like you guys don't get it i guess um so this may be a little controversial but this is that's life <laughs> it's good to be triggered over here like over here we welcome being triggered because when we're triggered we are triggered to grow and we want to grow to be strong and robust so um i've been doing some money in a work recently so i think for the next like um as long as it takes i'm going to be dismantling a lot of the blocks that have been accumulating in my soul about money and so one of the most important things I think that we need a frame of reference is like to, money is like sand to God. Um, it's too abundant. It is like everywhere. Okay. And it's not this scarce resource like that we are trying to portray. It is a very, a very abundant. So there's my favorite right now, my favorite scripture outside of first Timothy five, eight, if any man does not provide for his house, then he shall be worse than an unbeliever. Nobody wants to talk about that. And so I'm going to save your soul. <laughs> ah, this is why I say don't have a boyfriend. Like these boyfriends literally are going to put you in therapy. They're going to put you in a fast track to therapy. Seriously, they are. They're going to put you in a fast track of therapy, which God uses boyfriends to poke you into self-worth. But we don't, we're over here, we don't learn the hard way. We learn the easy way. We are just told, we believe it. We say yes and amen, and it is done. So why I brought that up? So the reason I always talk about dating, even though I'm more of a metaphysics teacher, is it because it's impossible to, like the self-esteem that you have in dating, it's going to transfer to every area of your life, your finances, your business, your self-esteem your overall how you treat other people how you treat your family members how you treat god how you treat your children like it's going to manifest in all different areas so it's worth me talking about dating if it means that it re increases your self-esteem to where you can attract a partner who's not a mini psychopath or mini narcissist or mini like a wannabe you know unhealed un like unhealed and just like not who god will send you god will not send you dysfunction he only wants to send you functional he's a god of order this is why i i'm getting a, a little bit off tangent but this is why i don't believe that the big man created the universe because order is the first thing god shows about himself like yes yes it could have been an explosion yes but the order we have now in society is to um it requires intelligence and um intelligence is a sign of something you're working for a force that's bigger than you right and so um and it always synthesizes to be the most efficient and this is why i removed the term high value and added the term high functioning because when you're high functioning you are able to move at the speed of light because if you're just not high functioning you can't penetrate god's ideas into the universe in a fast-paced way right and i don't like slow i'm not i i don't like so i don't believe it takes 16 years for success i don't believe that i don't sign up for that i don't subscribe to that i don't i'm not i give you full permission you don't have to subscribe to that that's an old model we're done with that so money is like sand to god there was a recent asteroid that was about to hit earth but it didn't unfortunately <laughs> and this asteroid the metals that were inside the asteroid scientists said that it would cost for every single human being to be a billionaire off of that asteroid and i was like that makes so much sense when you get out of the way the earth decides to work and you get into higher levels of thinking you think differently you think pure abundance you don't have this like feeling of like well just i'm the special one who doesn't get to have what i want you don't think like that that's ridiculous you don't have to think like that you don't have to participate in that thinking you can say i'm going to jump into the stratosphere 
the stratosphere of the universe and i'm going to grab on to the way god is thinks which is like if i if you want it every single person on earth can be a billionaire jesus said the last thing in two books he said greater things that you will do in my name as than i have done and this is so funny because now i'm in um training program in my church and um to be a worship leader and also in the prison ministry and um they always say greater things will you do in my name now you don't have to be christian to like scrap that like okay you know what i'm saying i don't even i don't think i even think i'm christian i just i just follow what jesus says like whatever religion jesus said i'm just gonna go with that whatever religion god is that's what i do um everything else is just like not i don't i don't listen to it i i follow god's orders and that's it god is my boss he corrects me he's the one who who checks me all the time so i'm gonna listen to him um but you know the, even if you don't want to do that right like that you still have free will why is that in my hair um you can still get access to the metaphysical truth that you don't have to start a war you don't have to steal you don't have to be a fraud you don't have to be outlandish you don't have to take away your authentic personality so you can get money the rules of the universe say ask and you shall receive behave as if it's done and it is done you just act like it's done everyone's gonna call you delusional oh well i'm i'm a pisces i've been, I've been called delusional since my entire life okay and um you know, it's like saying to God, I'm not going to let, if it's like saying to God, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to think I'm not enough. It's not about how you look. A lot of people think like, well, I don't look like a millionaire. Well, I don't have fake boobs, so I can't be a millionaire. Or I don't have the type of girl, so I can't be a millionaire. Or I don't have the type of creative ideas. Literally ask, ask and you shall receive. I don't have enough time in the day for my creative ideas. Prince he was well known you look up prince's documentary and transfer that to your own life because even though prince was raised to be in the public eye you don't have to be like stop that oh you weren't you weren't trying to be famous when you were a kid i think if you are a parent putting your child in the spotlight you are crazy and you need psychological help um there is no child star who's truly truly looks like they're having the time of their life like they really don't um even selena gomez like um yeah she doesn't look very healthy the way she's having all these different diseases she may present healthy and she may have god in her life but just because you're saved doesn't mean you're actually in the full promises of god those are two different skills um the skill of saying yes to jesus is is an important skill but the skill of becoming radiant and healthy like super super healthy and super super mentally healthy and strong that's a different skill and just like having faith in your in your desires whatever dream amount like 100k months two million dollar months 10 million dollar months 100 million dollar months or even if you're just trying to get to 10k months the skill of getting to 10k months is it, they're all different skills okay so um, the skill of having the faith and keeping the faith and holding a robust faith is different from the skill of actually creating that um, amount of money. So metaphysically, what's happened is you need to just declare that's the type of money you want. As you declare your, the, that's the money you want, the second thing you need to focus on is your frequency. If your frequency is low, you can have the same amount of money and you will hate it. If you have to work 100 hours a week at a job particularly you don't like, like that's the thing i can work 100 100 hours a week on music and on youtube easy because i love it i like being on camera i like to show myself i like to be my authentic self so those 100 hours genuinely i like i don't even know what day it is like i don't know if you guys are mina Arfan's fans but she said when you start to quantum leap you literally don't know what day it is because you're moving at a pace that's so fast the ideas are coming so fast prince when he used to go to his concerts um and i used to go to his concert he used to start his concerts he would like perform and then in the night he would go and just write music all night and then you know to sleep as he goes so maybe he'll sleep three hours there he'll sleep three hours there um and then he'll go perform and he was constantly in this loop of making music he would make a song in the night and be singing it the next morning it was like he was moving at a very very high frequency pace and so that's the pace i want you to be at like you don't have to wait till you have those ideas it can come 
as of now these these are all the strongholds that are breaking because a lot of people think that they have it's going to take me 10 years in order for me to get a video shut up shut up that's not how i work here god doesn't work like that and he doesn't want you to, you're his child you have full permission to get move at the lightning speed now if you have trouble with starting your business ideas i do have a course called 30 business ideas for 30 dollars, and that is going to encompass just the free thoughts I, you i will not charge you like for if you end up making a lot of money from those business ideas because um the reason i wouldn't is because i have too many like i have more than enough and i will be adding more ideas into that i i just have too many ideas i'm telling you like one thing my family knows about me is i'm always talking about the next business idea if i see a plot of land i'm like what would what would like fit inside that plot of land or um i'm always just thinking of new ideas when i see watch a youtube video i'll have like if i watch someone else's video i'll get like 15 different ideas from that the only problem is what is where is the time where is the time where is the time and so um i don't operate like that anymore i move at the piece of the ideas and honestly it's refreshing it like the more it may be a little bit difficult in the beginning but as you move move towards to like no like i don't even have a sound producer so i produce all my music so so i don't have to wait on oh my god when are you gonna get my song done no i would rather prefer to listen to my create my own songs and move at the speed of light because the ideas are coming way too quick they're coming way too quick and um you know the only bug that really should stop you is nothing like nothing 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 so this is part of becoming a high frequency person where you are just being so tapped into source that he's like you do not have to get demonic inspiration you don't have to get inspiration from dark places i don't know what i don't know what writer's block means uh, from the beginning of my journey uh becoming an artist i threw that word all the way out like no i don't have any blocks for writing um so when i used to write my the first thousand songs i wrote i never released them they were just for me to to have deliverance in because you guys know i was demon possessed for like almost a decade so those songs used to help deliver me and take literally i would see the demons come out on um, in front of me and so when i was doing that um the th songs would come at such a fast pace and ultimately helped me learn how to write music really really quick but money is like sand to god it is like sand just ask and you shall receive and he will sometimes he will give the answer to you on how to get that money with through ideas the only problem is do you have the time to do your ideas sometimes these nine to fives can take so much energy out of you you almost like don't even have faith to believe that this idea is actually implementable and so you have to be conscious of where your energetics are going and how how what is your worth of your energetics genuinely like what is the worth is it worth you living the next couple you know decades abusing your energy and giving it to some other corporation while god is trying to give you divine inspiration and divine flow is it worth it is it worth it to have those hours taken away from your purpose is it worth it and that's like up to you to decide and you, when you decide the quicker you decide the quicker your manifestations can come and so um what was i gonna say uh um i i don't know i don't really know what which like which what's it called it, there's a specific like what is it called when uh, human design i don't know i think i don't know what i what i am but i did do i have done a lot of like what's it called um personality quizzes and i pretty much know what i am and um i'm more of like so i'm a very chill person until it comes to my youtube channel or my courses or my art or stages um i don't play about that i don't play about that at all i become like actual um you know that character from incredibles and like was she with it like or like i just take it very seriously like um and ultimately um to be the top one percent it's really not that hard because most people don't even have the faith to <laughs> you don't even have to try that hard you just have to decide i'm going to be the top one percent and literally do it it's not even that hard you can probably become the top one percent within like a decade because of how little faith people have 
literally little faith such little faith it's so sad i remember and i know this because like even me i have i have struggled with my faith a lot but i've overcome that through through hard work hard work and believing and like i, I didn't even get like when you're demon possessed for a decade like and people can't heal you and you're going to church after church and they can't heal you you learn faith you learn faith because you're not about to be dealing with this like you may put it under a rug and pretend it didn't happen but like you have to get out of this mental state if there are other people who don't have this problem i'm not going to be one of the people who have this problem period and so that's how i had to think and ultimately maybe a little bit of my faith comes from overcoming that um to where i'm like if i can do that if i can really get through that i can get through anything in life you cannot throw me anything and i'm going to be afraid i just don't have that and so you can absorb that frequency in, through the camera and just say like if joy can overcome that i can overcome whatever the hell mental issues i'm going through and so ultimately you guys know i say stay sober stay sober stay sober that's also a, an advantage it's an advantage it's a business advantage if you are staying sober yes you like i'm not against partying i'm not against drinking but i'm saying that it's a business decision to stay sober that's a business-minded person because first of all opportunities are everywhere how are you going to see them if you're like woozy right how are you going to improve your speaking when you're trying to share your pitch if you're slurring your words how are you going to improve your videos or how are you going to improve your product or how are you going to improve your music or your how are you going to improve your art because art is also a good way to make money like go paint some shit bruh go paint it and charge ten thousand like why why can't you why can't you because the way they just raise these gas prices and just raise these houses prices and then raise the plane tickets and then they raise they don't raise this the minimum wage like why can't you why can't you charge ten thousand someone's making that money the government trusts you to go find a way to not make minimum wage and so they're this is why they want to ban tiktok because everyone's business is thriving on tiktok and they're like well hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. who's gonna work at kfc now so who's gonna work at mcdonald's who's gonna work at the luciferian companies that are paying us to find workers who's gonna work there and so they'll bring in immigrants and so but it's like um and I would say if it's Christian, you should not be working at these places. If you're a Christian, you should not be working at these places. If you're a Christian, you should not be working at McDonald's. That's a Luciferian company. You should not be working at Starbucks. That's a Luciferian company. Now, you can become a billionaire and not be Luciferian and not be satanic. That is 100% possible. But if you're a Christian, and you, what's even crazy is they're putting these companies in the church. Oh my God. It's one thing to bring your Starbucks cup in the church. It's another thing to implant a business that literally practices Satanism in the church. And you can call me crazy, but I don't care. I don't care. What are you going to do? Kill me? No. And so and it's a free country. Like, why can't I speak what I want? Why can't I speak the truth? Why can't I? And of course, some people don't mind a, a little Luciferian cup of ca caffeine, but I do. <laughs> okay. I do. So um what is the value of your energetics and what is the value of your um conversation with abundance so i was doing some inner work about abundance and um english english be speaking the truth bro like occasionally because english was created by occult people so they were like um like wiccan or they were doing witchcraft okay straight up they put a bunch of words inside the english language that are demonic basically and cast spells over the people so like for example week end so the highest date the the date with the most amount of deaths is monday morning and it's because they think well let's be honest if i'm metaphysical i have to tell you how what is really happening weak weak being weak weak spirited i'm weak you know it's like i'm i'm feeling weak that's the kind of energy that they're putting in the weekend so on monday that has the most amount of deaths in any hospital monday mornings and so um the words you speak are powerful the words you speak in your mind are powerful the words you speak in your heart are powerful and this is not just about making money this is about your relationships this is about how people treat you this is about and let's be honest let's be freaking honest let's be honest let us be honest do you think the government is listening to you if you're not somewhat a millionaire let's just let's just let's call it what it is do you think they're listening to you genuinely and so the only way to actually 
start to change these laws and get these luciferian and free i don't care if they kill me too freemason um companies out of a religion which is so crazy separation of church and state how about we separate lucifer and state how about we separate pedophilia and state right so um so why like <laughs> like literally why literally why how about you take the freemason symbol out of my dollar sign so i can use my money and not be attached to luciferianism no you don't want to do that so don't tell me how to talk then i'm going to talk how i want to talk money is like sand to god stop crying about it stop crying C ask ask go to church and when they have altar calls go up there and say help me have faith to ask for money instead of doing it xyz help me have faith to ask because i've met some people in there and they're like girl he gonna do it he gonna do it he gonna do it he's gonna do it he's gonna do it and i'm with them i'll be like high five i'll be mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and ultimately i'm not speaking to only christians i'm speaking to anybody who wants to, to hear okay anybody with two ears and two eyes a nose and a mouth good enough for me and also be grateful be excessively grateful be absolutely obnoxiously grateful be the type of person like oh my god i'm just so thankful for this water i'm so thankful that i have eyes i'm thankful for that i have a nose i think for that i have a mouth i'm thankful that i have a neck thankful that i have two arms i have two legs i have two hearts i mean one heart i have two ears i have hair i have clothes i have a house i have a heating blanket under my blanket i have a i have a car i have a tesla i have a i live in a nice neighborhood be excessively grateful if people don't think you're weird because you're so grateful you're not grateful enough okay you need to be so grateful because ultimately you're sending out a um subconscious prayer everything you do is like a prayer to god every movement every everything you're doing is a prayer to god so when you're being excessively 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 grateful this feeling this feeling is is a god is like oh my god i just want to give her more she's so good at being grateful i just want to give her more and more and more or him more and more and more be excessively grateful be grateful for the little things like if someone just be so grateful if you eat food at a restaurant don't just tip go to the back look the the chefs in the eyes and say you guys did such a good job if they if you like the waitress don't just say oh here's a five dollar tip or twenty dollar tip or whatever or 20 cent tip who cares look them in the eye and say you are you are so beautiful and you're doing such a good job today that is that's a prayer that's a collective that's like a whole prayer when you're getting your groceries talk to the person in front of you and say wow i compliment them have spread your beauty on the earth spread how your your positive thoughts on the earth and god is going to hear that like almost like a prayer and you're not being fake you're not being weird you're not being a scammer you're just being you're just being grateful because once that money comes you're just going to be grateful you want it just to you want to feel like you are like 90 plus percent grateful and happy and abundant and whole and just feeling feeling the frequency of the planet like full on feeling and so oh my god money is like sand to god baby it's like sand to god stop trying to go to lucifer and ask him for a little business deal don't ask your little your your um <clears throat> african witch doctor to do some spells for your business stop doing that yes you need the metaphysical help but you why are you going to darkness for help yes you can get help from the darkness right like but like why do you need to do that like but why because ultimately high level satanism requires pedophilia like they may not tell you in the beginning but it requires pedophilia and it requires sacrifice to children and i don't know about you but i don't think i want that i want i don't think i want to go that route i don't think it needs to be that that hard that i have to sacrifice children in order to and by the way you may think of what is she talking about what is she talking about you are on the wrong channel i'm talking for people who actually want to change their lives people who really really want to change their life you better believe they're asking for metaphysical help that's why you guys get mad you're like there's no way she did that yes yeah, there is a way there is a way but you need to involve the metaphysical and spiritual side now do you have to no you don't have to i've seen people do it without without you know without a really close relationship with god but even then that's a luck game what if you get sick with cancer how are you going to navigate that what if you get what if something so traumatic happens in the, in between that journey that you, you like lose faith and this is why a lot of people like don't get there as fast as they like because they get distracted by the blocks 
that happen me i don't do blocks i don't do blocks if another block comes i i the, the blocks of life are afraid of me that's how i say my the when things come that try and block me they are afraid of me they are afraid of me i am not afraid of a block um i'm not i've already developed very robust philosophies that i don't i don't have that um sense of like it won't work like i don't i have i don't I, to me, every belief is fake. It's a fake ass belief. It's a fake belief. Do you understand? Everything you believe is fake. And everything I believe is fake. This is why it's called confidence. You're a con man. You're not actually confident. You're conning that experience. Sorry, guys. When you're talking, when you're in the spirit, God knows how, like, the devil knows how to, like, piss me off because he knows if I start to look ugly on camera, I'm not going to talk. So the <laughs> what? <laughs> so, but back on track. Money is like Santa God. Ooh, money is like Santa God. And don't stop crying. Stop crying and stop feeling stressed. Like, stop. You are so loved. Stop it. You are so loved and you're so cared about. And I love you guys so much. The Goddess Glow course is down below, and the Metaphysics of Fasting course is also down below. Thirty business ideas for $30 is also below and you can use them to add into your frequency change your life change your family's life stunt on these people who thought that you were going to be they, they're bullying and their rape and their molestations and their luciferian tactics because best believe like the occult be after me I don't, I don't even be doing that much the occult be after me i be seeing crows like in the in the hundreds outside I, my light turned off in the hundreds outside i've seen when i go out i'll park my car and then crows there's literally no crows anyways they would just surround my car sometimes um so one time girl if i told you the stuff that's happening on the, to me baby you wouldn't even know and that's because i got the light and i ain't afraid to show it i ain't afraid to show it and i love showing it i i love it you'd have to if i'm if i don't post for like if i don't post for a week just know joy has died something has happened to joy or i'm sick in the hospital which i wouldn't even be going to the hospital if i was sick i definitely will be dealing with myself what are you gonna do feed me that mcdonald's food after my surgery it's like an oxymoron um so love you so much bye